Welcome everyone, I'm Winter Mystic. So far in 2017, we've had quite a few great open world games. Yakuza 0, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Ghost Recon Wildlands, though that last one kind of incited a bit of controversy from the Bolivian government of all people over the depiction of their country. To be fair, I've never been to Bolivia. Most first-person shooters don't treat their settings with all that much respect, due care, and attention. But I digress. Also, Horizon Zero Dawn, and most recently, Mass Effect Andromeda. All of these games, excluding the very last, have made critics and fans quite happy. Horizon Zero Dawn is a breakout hit for the PlayStation, which is truly terrific because we need new IP. Assassin's Creed had to take a break because everyone was sick of the same thing over and over again. That all being said, the very last title that was named, Mass Effect Andromeda, seems rather divisive. Critics have given it a moderate 76%, where fans and users have given it a 4.6. The majority of fans seem rather upset with Mass Effect Andromeda and Bioware in particular. Having played the game for 10 hours, I can say that it isn't as bad as a lot of people are making it out to be. It isn't going to be game of the year, it isn't the best game Bioware has ever made, but it is an okay game. It is fun to play, and at the very least, the characters are interesting, if nothing else. Once you get past the facial animations and a couple of the glitches, now let's be honest, are in all open world games. From Grand Theft Auto, to the Elder Scrolls series, even the Great Witcher has its own little problems like that bloody annoying horse, the fact that the horse on occasion would fly, flying children, and other sort of glitches. Let's not forget that even Shadows of Mordor had its glitches like the rambling war chief or the disco dance floors, but it would seem the main problem people have with Mass Effect Andromeda is not the facial animations, not the glitchy walking, not the Star Trek the original series dialogue, which is still one step up from porn star dialogue, so we can be thankful of that, is there seems to be a certain lack of polish to this Mass Effect game. To be fair, it would seem that a lot of the developers on this game are new to Bioware, that a substantial amount of the old staff had left over the controversy with the ending of Mass Effect 3. So this is a new team, and there's a good chance they had to deal with Manvir Air, so you have to give them credit where credit is due. They managed to get the game out even with all of that. At the end of the day, the only reason people get so upset over Mass Effect and Mass Effect Andromeda is because... We care so much. We love the Mass Effect series. We as the fans have a connection to it. And when we see a product come out that's not as good as it could be, and not as good as it should be, not saying it's necessarily bad, but the quality of the previous iterations is not showing in this one. Some people were commenting that the facial animations and the facial detail were no better than Mass Effect 3. Personally, I would have to concur. It doesn't seem like they've made all that many strives for watching something like Horizon Zero Dawn, where they have much more expressive faces. Hell, even in Dragon Age Inquisition, the faces were better, the animations were better, and the character customization was leaps and bounds better. Though in Mass Effect Andromeda's defense, they have a lot more character models, a lot more variety in their faces than Horizon Zero Dawn has. Though, as it stands right now, I'm only halfway through Horizon Zero Dawn, and I've only played 10 hours of Mass Effect Andromeda. Andromeda. That all being said, Mass Effect Andromeda is still fun and still one of the very few places to get a space wizard. Gotta love those biotics. The real shame is EA has almost a monopoly on the space wizard. They have the Jedis from their deal with Disney and they've always had the biotics from the Mass Effect series. Let's just be thankful they don't have their hands in the psychers from the 40k universe. Also, to be truthful, there are a lot of space wizards out there, but they tend to be in MA. MMOs, games like Destiny or Wildstar or EA's Knights of the Old Republic. There's not a whole lot of places. And even these MMOs, it's a class-based system. We have games where you play as future assassins, and there are games, tons of games, where you play as some kind of future warrior, but no game where you play, or at least no games recently where you play as like a psychic or someone that someone who wields primordial forces. The last games that I can really remember are Saint Row 4, The Force Unleashed, and Infamous Second Sons. And yes, 
Two of those games are more superhero-esque games, but at this point, picking someone up with your mind, being able to throw them, throw fire and lightning from your hands is good enough for me. So when it comes to the Mass Effect series, I always go full biotic. And that part of Mass Effect Andromeda is really good. A nice touch. When going full biotic, your jump pack is replaced by your biotic powers lifting and tossing you into the air and tossing you forward. Once you level up for the first time and get the lift ability comboed with a throw to be able to pick up enemies and throw them at other enemies, that was it. I was sold. Not for a full price AAA game. Maybe when the complete version comes out in a year, then. But as it stands right now, I'll be holding off on my purchase of Mass Effect Andromeda. Please don't think that this is just me piling on and attacking Mass Effect Andromeda because I'm not. I really enjoyed the game. It's just not necessarily worth the price they're offering it at. On top of that, it seems to me to be that at this point, everyone is just beating up on this poor dead horse to the point where I can't even tell if it actually was a horse to begin with. The only major fear at this point is if Mass Effect Andromeda either sours EA or even worse so, the majority of the fans it has left and we don't get a continuation in the series. Hopefully this isn't where Mass Effect dies and we'll get to see more of this universe. And until the complete edition comes out, there's always Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a great take on a post-apocalyptic assassin. And who doesn't love that? You have to admire the balls on the person that walked up to Sony Interactive and said, hey, fighting robot dinosaurs with bows, that'll sell, and managed to get them to buy it. That's rather impressive. Horizon Zero Dawn might rip off everything, but it rips off the very best of everything and puts it together so very nicely. All the concepts are rather rudimentary, but polished to a shine. Why talk about Horizon Zero Dawn? Because this is an open world game done right. There is just enough content to make you want more, but not too little to make you feel that you got cheated, nor a waste of your money and or time. Now, spoiler warning ahead. You've been warned. The first time in Horizon Zero Dawn that you watch a corruptor crumble a building like it was made of styrofoam is truly spectacular. Combining elements from games like Legend of Zelda, Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, and from what I'm told, a little bit of Dark Souls by bringing down some of the heavier monsters and how some of them can kill you in a single attack. Just to name a few. This is what the games industry should be doing. Taking all the concepts, all the ideas that they've learned, thus far and combining them in new and different ways. The only thing these large publishers understand is voting with our wallets. Take their money away, then they listen. But as long as they're getting paid, nothing's going to change. And that's where Mass Effect Andromeda comes in. A lot of the things that separate Horizon Zero Dawn as a game and Mass Effect Andromeda, Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't come with any microtransaction. In previous videos, I've stated my opinion that if you need to spend money to buy resources, armor, experience, or anything in your single player or your multiplayer, it's a failure of game design. Other people can think differently, and that's fine. That's their opinion. But in the end, this is a practice that I would like to see stopped. On the previous video, Mass Effect Andromeda, who cares, not EA, a commenter by the name of Berserk Liam stated that he believed microtransactions equaled multiplayer. Now that may be the case, but in reality, a lot of games provide multiplayer without having to resort to microtransactions. On top of that, it's not like EA is paying for any dedicated servers, peer-to-peer, -peer, so they are saving money that way. It's not like the microtransactions are needed to keep the servers up and running. So, when it all comes down to it, when supporting the AAA game community, I would like to see more Horizon Zero Dawn. Beautifully crafted open worlds, no microtransactions, and unique ideas, even if they're stolen from a whole bunch of other games. Now, not even Horizon Zero Dawn is perfect. Why can't we control just one of the bloody robots to follow us like a pet? That's all I want is a little watcher pet to follow me around and blast people. Also, everyone's complaining about Mass Effect's dialogue. Well, Horizon Zero Dawn's isn't Star Trek the original series 
bad, more like the original three Star Wars films corny. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Star Wars, big fan. Jedi all the way. But a lot of the actors do ham it up quite a bit. It is rather corny. Go back and rewatch it. Still entertaining, still the best trilogy in movie history, my opinion. There's only one return, and that's of the Jedi. Really miss playing the consulars in Star Wars The Old Republic. Picking up rocks and firing them at people was really fun. Bloody hell, there's just not enough space wizards out there. But back on point, this season, when voting with your wallet, it's probably best to say games like Horizon Zero Dawn, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild deserve our support. Though games like Mass Effect Andromeda are alright, they do not deserve our full support. With a full price purchase at launch, or even in that month, here's to buying the complete version for $40 at the end of the year. I hope you all enjoyed this content. I'd also like to take a second to say thank you to all my new subscribers. How nice it is and how surprised I was to get over 1,500 views on my very first real video, Mass Effect Andromeda, Who Cares, Not EA. So to all my subscribers, all the people that watched, and especially all those who hit the like button, thank you for joining me. Here's hoping you were entertained. And lastly, this all could be wrong. I could be completely mistaken. I'm just a simple farm boy knowing little in the ways of the world. I'll see you in the comments below and have a nice day.